I'm Nicole. And I'm Drew. It's two teams of lab rats, four insane challenges, one enormous labyrinth and a giant vat of cheese sludge. This is the messiest, most out of control competition <laughs> you have ever seen. Nick, I'm excited. Let's just get so into it. Right, let's do it. Let's meet the red team. Over on the red team, we have Dermy and Tarek. Now, what place would you most like to visit in the world? Japan. Japan. What, what's so good about Japan? Because I learned Japanese at school and I really like it. You'd like to, to put some of that um, Japanese to practice? Yeah. All right, I've got something for you. Oh, Genki Deska. Hi, Genki Deska. Yes, he's got it. I just asked him how he was and you said, yeah, I'm pretty good. <laughs> you are pretty good? You're feeling pretty good? Yeah. Excellent. Now, Dermy, if you could meet anyone in this whole wide world, who would it be? Um, Bill Gates and the Queen. What would you say to Bill Gates? How did he become so rich? Yes, I was thinking the same thing. Well, hopefully one day you will get to do that. All right, let's see who's on the blue team. And making up the blue team today, we have Riley and Robbie. Now, Riley, what do you like to do in your spare time, man? I like to watch Doctor Who. Would you like to travel through time in a police box? That'd be awesome. Just, just, just travel see, around, have fun. See some weird alien enemies? Yeah. Hang out, shoot the breeze? Yeah. I like it. Very nice. Now, Robbie, what do you love most in the world? Riley's into Doctor Who. Meat pie. It's a classic. Why do you love meat pies? I just like the creamy taste of the gravy dripping down your throat. Sauce? Sometimes. Optional. Yeah. All right. Barbecue or tomato? Tomato, definitely. Oh, that is a good pie. Boys, I like the way you think. Happy to have you both on the team today. Let's get into our first challenge and see how our teams do the Nano Challenge. <laughs> The challenge for our lab rats today seems like a pretty simple one. All they have to do is use these wooden blocks here to build the highest tower possible. They have one minute to do it in, and if their tower is the highest, they'll pick themselves up 10 points. Ready, guys? Your time starts now. to bring out the tape measure. Well done, Red Team. Ten points. Excellent. What was your first design like? Oh, just two at, the, two at the base with two on top. But then when it toppled down and you only had a short amount of time, you tried a different technique. Yeah, mm. just piling one on one, trying to get as tall as possible, as fast as possible. If you could have done it differently, do you reckon you could have got higher any any other way? No. Maybe no. We'll see it would have fallen over. Well, we call that a practice round. Yeah. That's practice round. Yeah. We call that a practice round. You guys feeling warmed up now? Yep. All right, let's get in there and get us some points. Let's go, boys. That's all right if we must, Nick. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. We have the blue team on zero points. I think it's a great idea to look at that scoreboard. And red are on ten. Yeah. Well done, guys. I don't know whether you heard us earlier, but we were calling practice round yeah, on that I heard one. That. Yep, blue team. We're definitely warmed up now, aren't we? Yeah. Yes. You want to do one final stretch? <laughs> yep, that's good. They're ready. Let's All right. see what's going to happen in What Will Happen If. Good old pipe cleaner I've got here, Drew. You've bent it into some kind of bubble blowing device, is I that right? I sure have. All right. Question for our lab rats is, what's going to happen to that string if I pop the bottom bubble? Now, if you get this one right, you'll get yourselves five points. Well, if you pop the bottom bubble, it's probably going to pop the bottom bubble and then keep the string and the string's going to wobble. So I think the string will just wobble? Yeah. 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 What do you reckon, Dermy? Um, I reckon it might go straight back up. Well, I think when we pop the bottom 
bu bubble, the top one will survive because the string is separating them. We need to only have one answer, unfortunately, so we're going to have to make a decision, guys. Go, go. Yeah. <laughs> go, go, go with Debbie. <laughs> so the string's going to go up? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's lock it in. The string's going to go up. You're saying that the top bubble will obviously stay and, and the string will straighten out. Is that is that what we want to lock in as our answer? Yep. Yeah. Two very different answers, Drew. So let's see who's going to get the five points. Okay. Fingers crossing on the blue team. So what is going to happen to the string when I pop that bottom film? Ready? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> A shot straight yeah, upwards. Right. Like what the red team said. Exactly what the red team said. Why? Because we just assumed that the uh, bubble at the top would stay there and so that the string would stay in the same spot or maybe straighten out a little. Yeah, well, what happens when both of the bubble films are in place, it's stretched really tightly. OK, and it's kind of like they're having a tug of war over the string. So when we pop the bottom one, it's like the top film wins the tug of war and the string goes upwards. Pulls it straight so up. Straight upwards. Oh, congratulations to top film and congratulations <laughs> to red team picking up the five points there. Nick, I don't know why you keep insisting on a score check. Blue team on zero points. This is why. Red team on 15 points. Yeah! Well done. There you go, Nick. Take your moment because it's not going to last much longer. Who will be the first team to make it through the labyrinth, complete the rat race, earn the ultimate 30 points and get cheesed? Will it be blue? Oh, <laughs> oh will it be red? Ah. <laughs> Hang around to find out. Red team are absolutely blitzing it today, but that could all be about to change. Now, Nick, have you ever been on a roller coaster and got off it and gone, wow, that was amazing, and then gone home and designed your own? Thought, how can I make that roller coaster Can't better? Say I have. No? <laughs> no? Clearly, I have a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> but you guys have obviously played those theme park games where you get to build your own roller coaster. Yeah. Well, this is kind of what I've done here. I've designed my own roller coaster. Very impressive, I it, might add. It is. It doesn't have the mechanics for it to work yet, mm -hmm. but I can demonstrate how it works using this metal so sphere down there? here okay. and a magnet. And a magnet, okay. right? And if you can see, oh. there we go. You can see the attraction between it because I can move it yeah. back and forth there. As I move the magnet along, you can see that that metal sphere follows. Now the challenge for our lab rats today is working together as a team, both of them with magnets. They have to try and get the ball, or as I like to call it, my roller coaster, <laughs> to the top there. Okay. Show us how this roller coaster is going to work. The team to do it in the quickest time will pick up 15 points. Okay, but we've only got one of your magical roller coasters, right? I don't have that much time <laughs> on my hands. So only one team can do this at a time. Yes. So blue team are behind. So let's give them the decision. Would you like to go first or if you go second? We could shrink them down using our shrinking ray. That sounds like a good idea, guys. First or second? Second. 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 Okay, boys, here we go. Riley, you really, really wanted to meet strange creatures from another world, and that's what it's going to be like with huge bugs walking up to you now. Yeah. And Robbie, you love meat pie, and at this size, there's heaps and heaps of pie to go around now. Yes! And me, I've always wanted to operate a piece of scientific equipment with way too many buttons. We're living the dream, boys. Cheer! <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Now, you guys are going to have to sit tight for a little while while the red team do the method madness, so we'll just place this cage down around you. What the cage? Yeah, kind of didn't tell you about that at the start. And to make things uh, worse, um, this is actually your guard. Not the cat. You guys not cat people? No, no not really. Not this size. Well, who knows? By the end of this, you may be. Let's see how the red team go in Method Madness. I was thinking that I would start off and then when we got to one metal pole, I'd fling it up and then Tara could get it with the other magnet and then take it up to the, to the next. They've got a five minute time limit. Okay, guys, you ready? Yep. All right, time starts now. Grab it there, grab it there.
don't drop this. Sorry. Take, take it, take it. Hold on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Shrink the blue team. Well, I thought that if we get to a piece that's connecting the rope, someone should go to the other side so we can easily just pass through it. Guys, we really need this to get some points on the board. Yes, we do. You can do this? Yes. Okay, your time starts now. Okay, we now know frustration, yeah? Yeah. Blue team, can you believe it? That is frustrating. Just want to just yell it out with me now? Yeah. Ah! Oh, yeah, that feels a lot better. <sighs> if the magnet on the end of the tube would have been longer or more powerful, then it would have been a breeze. Oh, you're feeling a little nervous? Just, just a little. You probably should be. Oh, great. Three. Tell me. Okay. The blue team didn't manage to do it. Well, the red team didn't manage to do it either. Oh, so no points there. No the point. scoreboard remains the same. I'll take that. I'm happy with that result. Let's take a look at the scoreboard and see how it looked. Of course, it hasn't changed. We still have the blue team on zero points. And the red team still on 15 points. They are out in front. A 15-point lead. All right, no more games. No more playing around. No more practices. We need to get serious now. It's time to get our teams to the King Kong of all challenges. The Rat Race is coming up next. For the Rat Race, it's good to be smart. And it's also good to be quick. And it helps to be able to see in the dark. Nicole, the first, first players in, in the particle accelerator get to grab the most bonus points to add to their score. They're called status accelerators. Quick, it's time to start the Rat Race. hasn't changed for the last couple of rounds. Let's see if we can do something about that, Drew. There's going to be a big change as we go into the biggest challenge of them all, the rat race. You guys ready? Yes! You better be. Let's go. Woo!
The Labyrinth is Blue Team's last chance to grab as many big points as they can if they want to win this competition. Yep. Nick, what is their challenge for today? All right. The challenge for you guys today is to put these little fellas back together. Now, their bones will be hidden in, in the sand up here, like so. Got a hand here. Put this one together. There we go. Okay, so what you need to do is find all the bones in the sand and put them back together. Then you can go on to the maze. That is right, but first you have to get here. Make your way through the labyrinth, remembering to grab as many status accelerator points as you can. There's a chance to score up to 35 points. But that's not all. Once you've put these guys together successfully, make your way through the maze as fast as you can. And if you're the first lab rat to become cheese, you'll pick up an extra 30 points. Well, we're out in front now, guys. How are we going to keep it that way? Just win. 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 Oh, well, win silly question, way. really. How are we going to win this? As, be as well as we can. As well as we can. What about the bones? Pretty good with your bones? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we've paid attention in your anatomy lessons before. No. It sounds like we have a plan. Do you think it can fail? No. Not maybe. a chance. Maybe? Don't think like that. Say with me again, not a chance. Not, not a, a chance. chance. Not a chance. <laughs> You ready for it, red team? Yeah! I think so. Blue team, you ready? Yes! Well, that's pretty even. This is going to be a good one. On your marks. Get set. Go! Oh, pushing through. That's the way. Yes, blue teams are first out of the giant squeeze there. Let's hope they can keep it this way for the entire race. The red team ducking and weaving through there so fast it appears they've taken the lead now. Tarek first onto the rope climb. Oh, but look out, Robbie is with him at the same time. Battling it out there. Come on, boys, you can do this. But come on, Blue Team, remember, this is your only chance to claim this game. You need it. But still, Red Team out in front, racing towards that anti-vision chamber. Both Blue Team members ahead of the final Red Team member, but there is a Red Team member already out in front, heading into that anti-vision chamber. <laughs> what are we going? Ah! <laughs> no, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we've got these night vision cameras so we can see what's going on. Here's Blue Team searching around. They really, really need this exit. I can't stress that enough. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> we kind of got lost. There's a dead end. It's like really dark. It's look like zombies. He's <laughs> searching. So, good. Here's Blue Team sticking together again. Come on, boys. Okay, I'm going. Oh, oh, another head of the wall. But it's, it's made him duck down and find the exit. He's got the smack to the head, but it's paid off. Yes! I find my feet. There's a hole. Go, go. <laughs> they are out, blue team, down the pole. Down is that particle accelerator. Grab the big points, boys, because we need them. They're out. Here comes second blue team member now. Down into the particle accelerator. Once again, grabbing the big points, leaving the small points for the red team. Go, 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 go! Will this be enough? Riley grabbing the skull there, starting on their skeleton. Come on, blue team, here come the reds. The reds are into the particle accelerator, grabbing points now. Come on, boys, remember, hard and fast, you need to go because the red team are hot on your heels. Here are the reds now, grabbing your skull, starting your skeleton. With the last of the status accelerator points, blue are on 35 and red are just behind on 30 points. So we have those arms and legs in the right spot. Looks like blue team have all the bones, they just need to get them in the right order. And around the right way. Okay, switch the hands over, we've got them in the wrong way. <laughs> Where did our arms go? There, is that right? Things still not looking 100% right there, Blue Team. Turn around, turn it around, just rotate it. Red team, 
and they've just copped a cheesing. Well done, Red Team. How do you feel? Great. Great. They've given me some too, which is very nice. You're part of the team, yeah? <laughs> I am, I am. Blue Team, good job, lads. Well, Nick. they did well because the Blue Team picked up 35 extra status accelerator points and Red picked up 15. So let's see how this is going to affect the overall scoreboard. Blue Team now on 35 points. And the Red Team on 16, which makes them <laughs> today. Fun. We had fun. We certainly did. We hope you had fun too. If you like what you saw here today, join us next time where everything will be completely different. We'll see you then. See you later. Bye.